good 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 evening good evening good evening ladies and gentlemen welcome to the virtual learning and uh, in today's class we'll be learning a lot to learn a lot and uh, my name is Odetola in Israel they are meeting me for the first welcome 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 sorry for the um little network interruption over there um you are going to be seeing my face in the next few minutes i want to welcome you to um the virtual learning clinic and um, here we discuss issues current issues and uh, any area of exploration that we can come in to be able to bring in uh, a virtual class into something that is innovative into something that we can call innovation if you have any question for today's class can you please drop them although my topic for today is uh, is for me to be able to explore with you how to make use of your facebook as lms but i will also be addressing a lot of questions i'll be addressing a lot of questions on you if you have those questions can you please drop them right away if you have those questions can you please drop them right away so uh my name is odetola Ebenezer israel and um i would also like to introduce you to my next conference coming up our fourth annual conference our fourth annual conference coming up and um, it is going to be for this coming month August. Oh, welcome to the class oh my image is quite um, too white whitish welcome to the class once again um, as I said in today's class we are going to be exploring yep i think this is nice now in today's class we are going to be exploring a lot on that facebook facebook has updated a lot for us and um, with this update we can do a lot we can achieve a lot and um, i decided to just dedicate today to what facebook has um, actually um, done uh, it is a very big time innovation and uh, with this innovation we are going to have access to a lot a lot the access is quite um, very big and then um, i would like you to take advantage of today's class to do as to do as much as you can to learn from what i have for you welcome to the class once again if you are just joining us my name is odetola yeah, going to have access to a lot yep i just try to test my output so if you can hear me i want to welcome you welcome 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 so uh in today's class we are going to be learning a lot and um, majorly we are going to be learning how to use our facebook as elements i just observed that uh, Elements is um, something that we find very hard for now to integrate. We are still going to work on different types of elements for the rest of the year. Uh, for the rest of the year, we are going to work on so many of them. Um, and then, um, very sure, we are going to be doing a lot, a lot, a lot around elements. But for today's class, we are going to be working on Facebook. So, as I said, if you have any question regarding your elements in your school, Maybe for last week for this week anytime can you please send those questions in as i am here to help out 
in uh, so many uh, uh, latest updates on what is happening presently in your school that is why this uh, platform is actually set i set up this uh, learning clinic so that we'll be able to tackle a lot of challenges that we are facing presently in our schools um, right away i'm going to move to my working space to my workspace uh, right away window so to my workspace i've already opened my facebook okay this is my facebook and um, facebook facebook has really done well but there's a comma there's a comma attached to it there's something that we need to understand to use this so maybe before i start i should um, take my time to introduce to you um what this class what facebook or how facebook can be integrated into the classroom environment some people have already criticized this yes it is a social media and the social media is not meant to be to actually be integrated into learning but i will tell you that uh, regardless of this being a social media i think that we can also use this to um to achieve a lot of learning or as a learning tools let me use the word as a learning tools it can be achieved as a learning tools and um, in today's class i'm going to be working on that and um, let me invite you specially to our forthcoming annual conference this conference is going to be wholesome this time it's going to be awesome this time our facilitators are ready and uh, everybody we are all set for this workshop it's not it's going to be a workshop it's going to be impactful it's going to be awesome i would like you to just go out there and then look for a way to save up something it's going to be free it's going to be free it's going to be free yes it's going to be free so um get a way to um just look for something maybe a, your data just get your data down so that you will be able to learn from experts all over the world my name is Odetola Ebenezer once again so let's move up to let's just move to our working space right away so this is my facebook account i'm going to be using my own facebook account and then i'm going to send you a link for you to join me if you can join me if you can join me i will be glad and uh, if you can't and uh, if you can't no problem with that also and then i'm going to send you a link for you to join me um so let's do that right away that means that we'll be having some group of people that will be joining me live and direct why some people will be joining me on youtube so um, what are we going to do to get this done just go on your facebook.com you can achieve this on your own page you can also achieve this on your profile but there's something i observe it is going to be public it's going to be in form of a public so that means that everybody can have access to your class so i'm going to be talking about ways to achieve this in such a way that um, so many people won't have access to your class you will only be the one in your class i think that is the major problem that a lot are actually facing right now that's a lot of problem a lot are actually facing right now so how do we do this in such a way that um, your class will be just for you alone in such a way that everybody won't have access to the code because if you, if you open this everybody will have access to it so this is where we are going to click just click on uh, what is on your mind just click on what is on your mind and then when you click on what is on your mind when you click on what is on your mind what you are going to do simple just click on it when you click on it you are going to find this and then click on the three dots um we have over there we have create room so this is where we are working you click on create room it's going to be asking you a lot of um 
question that means how do you want to use this room so uh, i like to that's the room activity so room activity if it is solely for for learning you can just uh, use the word your name's room um, if it is for study break study break um, for tv a lot you can do that so let me even try study break this time i've not tried study break then who is invited so i click on who is invited um, all friends can see and join the room on facebook you don't want that if you want personal you just click on personal and then you can do this so or let me use um, all friends for now because i'm going i'd like everybody to join me then the time now then i click on next so when i click on next the next thing is going to show me who again did i want to invite i can invite as much as i can a lot of people around me can be invited so this is awesome invitation will be sent to them immediately and um, i think uh, i like this so um, this is nice and also because it is on facebook a lot of people can see this and they can join you immediately a lot of people can see this and join you immediately so uh, just make sure you look for people that you want you that you want them to join you so when you get them uh, just click on done and um, with done you are ready to go in terms of um, getting this ready so i click on done and um, if i click on post that means i am posting it to for everybody to see this post is empty okay i join my live class on youtube okay so um this is it this is awesome and um to make it uppercase yep okay join my live class on so i click on posts the moment i post remember it is going to be you can see it is on my it is already on my wall so people can see this and people can join people can see this and join now the moment they accept accept the moment they accept this invitation is going to be sent to you immediately and i will click on accept invitation i'm not sure you can see this i want to do it in such a way that you will be able to see this um, i'm trying to look for yes i am it is already showing over here i'm trying to it is already showing it's just that uh, yes somebody is exploring around me um what am i doing right now i am trying to add up um, my display capture device so uh, right away this is uh, the class and then um, all the people have invited they will be able to see me right now this is how it works can you see um i have my other phone i have two phones the one below here this is my this is my own phone and um the second phone is uh yes mr miwa ashimolo is joining us live yeah, well Hi, done, sir. Hi, we can't. I, I'm not sure we can hear you. Well done, sir. We are we are live on YouTube, and then I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. We are live on YouTube, and then we are trying to. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. So, Mr. 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 Mr.
Thank you very much for joining us. Um, we are just trying to work on um, this uh, platform for teachers to be able to use for their virtual class. And um, a lot of people are trying to join us. I really appreciate them. And uh, I'm just trying to teach everybody how we can do this, use this in church in such a way that um, it won't be like, uh, it won't be open to all. Because there is something about this that um, if you if you open this through the use of your of your main wall of from your from your Facebook, there is going to be a problem. It's going to be open to all. So there is a way you can do this that it will be open to all. So this is what we are working on, and I'm very sure that we'll learn it. So how do we share our screen? We can share our screen. There is a um, share screen over here, or the, um, with share screen. If I click on share screen right now, this is my screen, and I can share my screen. I I so much love this. So before I move to share screen, let me do something. I want to give invitation, uh, the link to join this class to everybody. If you are interested in joining me live, I want to give you the link. There's a place here that we can use to join. I'm looking for that uh, place. That, um, found it. Morning. Okay. Yeah, invitation. That is, we want to invite. I copy the link. And then um, I go to anywhere I want to send it. Let me send it to participants that are willing to join me live on WhatsApp. So if you want to join me on WhatsApp, if you want to join me through WhatsApp, I'll be sending it to CME. So I'll be sending it to CME right away. And um, through CME, you are going to get me live. This is awesome. This is awesome. Um, there is something I like about this. It is because it is unlimited, not like Zoom. So we can use this to about um, how many hours we feel like. So if you want to use it to any time, any day, you can use it. Yeah, welcome. Somebody is um, joining us here, but I can't see the person. Okay. You said? Yeah, I can see somebody is in the class, uh, but I can't see your face. That means this. You said something now. Yeah. Is there an I I Yes, I am trying to. There's, there's no icon. Somebody is asking me here that uh, is there is there an icon to chat with anybody personally? But um, right here, you have people, and uh, you can only remove. You can remove Olua Kemi if I want to remove Olua Kemi. I can remove Olua Kemi if I want to remove Adeleke. I can remove Adeleke. So. If I click on them, nope, there's nothing like chatting with them privately. So I'm very sure uh, Facebook will improve on this, and uh, it is 100% they will improve on this. So this is um, what exactly you can do on it. You can only see, you can only remove participants. So if I don't want people to join me, if I don't want you to join me, I can remove you immediately. That is the only thing I can do. Thank you very much for joining me. I just observed it is you, Olua Kemi. Thank you for joining. Yeah, thanks for great job. This this one I can I can share it. It is it is it is very easy to explore. It is very easy to explore. So, but the only thing is that uh, there is a way you can do it in such a way that the link. 
going to be sent to everybody direct because I observed that the link can be sent to everybody. When you open it, it will be published to Facebook. So, but there's a way you can do it in such a way that it will be published to Facebook. Yes, there is, there is, there is, there is, there is copy link. Yes. You said what? I said um, using this approach now, this method to copy the link to not be copied on Facebook. You can just copy the link from here and then um, go and paste it wherever you want to invite or to who you want to invite personally yes miss kemi uh, what exactly happened is that if you want to like now if you check my wall there is a place there that is written that join the class on facebook that means it is open you will have to open a closed group then after that, create your room. After creating the room, you will now generate the link to send to the students. The students don't even oh. need to download Facebook. They don't need anything with Facebook at all. They only need to just join you live. And then That's you have unlimited point. time to spend with them. Like the 40 minutes we mm. use on Facebook. On Zoom. On Zoom. Yeah, on Zoom, I mean. On Zoom, yes. Okay, so first you will create a private group. Yes. And after you have done that, you will you will go to open a chat or something, or open a, a chat room. Yes. And from there, you, you'll be able to start the class. Exactly, I guess. yep. So it is right. easy and straightforward. The only thing you just mm. need is to is to test run it as much as possible before you before you kick start. Okay. Do you understand okay. that? That that that. You need to make sure that you exploit at least exploit it with your colleagues, exploit it with a lot of at least use them for meeting. Mm. A lot of meeting okay. and uh, with that. Okay. One last thing, please. Yes, I, I want a lot of questions from you. <laughs> okay. We are, we are, we are um, live on YouTube. Effect? Hope you know. Really? No, not YouTube. Just here, right? We are we are also live on YouTube. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right. It's not a problem. We'll make it as professional as possible. <laughs> all right. So, um, <laughs> I've got one more question. I yeah. hope another one will not come. Um, I've been trying to... I've used Zoom a number of times and I noticed that the video quality is very bad. I mean, you can't have all your... You, you can't have everybody showing at the same time. There is always network interference. There is always noise interfering at the background and you know if everybody does not switch off or mute their videos there's no way you'll be able to enjoy that meeting or that class mm. and you know that way it will it will defeat it will defeat the purpose of having a virtual class i mean a face-to-face -face class virtually it's going to defeat the purpose so for my team, we haven't really been able to use Zoom, I mean um, the unpaid one now, maximally, because in some of the classes, it's still more like chatting on WhatsApp or probably using Google Classroom or um, Edmodo. You can't see who you're talking with. You're only exchanging words. You're only, you're only talking to one another. So my 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 question now is this. Okay, For let me let me address the first question. 
Okay. The first question is the video quality. Yes, in Zoom. So you said the video, there's a place there that you can use to activate your video quality in such a way that um, your video will be, will be in form of HD. So your video can be in form of HD if you understand how to activate it. It is very simple and straightforward. And there will be no network interference at the background that will stop um, you from um, connecting with your network, audience. This is subscribe. another thing I observe about Zoom. Is that uh, Zoom is uh, is um, data is a data consumption um, video conferencing, and um, it tend to get it tend to look for more attention to to achieve a lot. It's it's actually like to look for more attention to achieve a lot. So you will need to make sure that there's no application running under your phone or your laptop. So if you have any application that is open, that is already opening down, you will need to close them so that you will be able to use them live. I think I'm enjoying this um, Facebook platform in such a way that people can be calling in and be asking questions. So every Sunday for now, I think this is what I'm going to be doing. Yeah, so what's the second question again? Yeah, my second question is... Um on Google Meet. I've tried yes, checking Meet. it out. Yes, I've tried checking it out to see if I can use it <coughs> any day. I, I, I'm not interested in using Zoom. And um, I just want to ask, what advantage does Google Meet have over Zoom or this messenger? Hmm. That is a um, rating Google Meet and Facebook Messenger. Um, I've not really explored this okay. Facebook room. I yeah, I guess you haven't really explored the, much on this. Okay. Yes, so but the only the only disadvantage I observe here is that I can't chat with my students. I can't private chat them. Like now, maybe there's a problem going on. And I want to private chat the child. Okay, please come online. This and that. I can't find them here. So it is mm. a big time disadvantage, and I'm very sure they should be working on that. Or maybe I've not I, I, even I, I, explored to the yeah. core, but I've I've checked everywhere. Settings device. Under settings device, I know that it is only my settings in terms of using HD, using this and that. That is what I have. And um, okay. yes, that is what I have here. All right. Then after okay. that, um, okay. speakers view, then full screen. That's all. So there's nothing like okay. chatting with with students personally. Yeah, it is only um, see call participants. Okay. Mm. So uh, okay. this is nice. I would like anybody to join me if they are watching us direct on on youtube i i'm gonna drop the link right away below just uh, join me and let's see let's talk let's see how this works and let's check out all the disadvantages and the advantages so that we can use them as part of our learning tools it is possible and um, it is it is there's nothing there's nothing impossible for now i am seeing big time advantage in using this because there is that we don't have anything like a um, time limit and that is what some of us mm. have been struggling with in terms of um, video mm -hmm. conferencing yeah. mm -hmm. thank you very much miss kemi right. i really appreciate thank you so much, yeah. even thank you. to everyone yeah thank you um okay. do you want so to leave now or you want to stay with us for some time you have I question do you have any question regarding your LMS in your school? Edumodo, any of those elements you are using, maybe we can uh, bring in solution also right here. I have just um, 20 minutes left in this class. Okay. Um, yes. For LMS, I want to believe that there is something that works for every school. Yes. Yes. 
that's what I have personally come to discover. You know, depending on the structure that has been put in place to manage the learning management system, which is the LMS itself, you know. So it depends on what works for your school. For example, now in my own school, we have um, an issue with distance. And that's why Zoom, we haven't been able to use Zoom across classes. As we speak, some classes haven't been able to use Zoom because of um, probably the locations of some of their members. For example, you can have the teacher stay in the remote part of Lagos and trying to reach out to probably students in Bagaga and you know it's always an issue and they have to now fall back to just one platform and that's that has been really boring it's not really encouraging and effective for teaching you know um yes we started with edmodo edmodo i will come back to the fact that there is a platform that works for everyone unfortunately our parents just do not like the idea of Edmodo. One of the reasons is um, the fact that the pictures, no, not pictures now, videos take time to upload. You have the same thing happening on Class mm. Dojo. The videos take a while to upload and, you know, you're not able to chat successfully with your students. So those are some of the disadvantages of using those kind of platforms and because of that we had to just devise a means to make things work for ourselves and we have decided to stick with whatsapp um, chat okay. calls and zoom for now you know and which I'm, I'm i'm trying to think of other means like this um this messenger room you are trying to present and probably Google Meet to see if there is anyone that will work better than Zoom. Yes, um, it is quite um, fine. It's fine that um, you can innovate now and use a lot of um, alternative. But there's something about um, about um, Google um, Edmodo that um, some of us don't understand. Edmodo is is a face is is a Facebook for students it is the facebook for students and it is a kind of platform that enables students to interact i have also actually observed some disadvantage of edmodo that's what i'm trying to state some of them for now so it actually uh, gives a lot of opportunity for children to interact with each other and they can also interact with each other all over the world with the use of hashtag so this is one of the things i'm trying to discourage for now that um, Edmodo is not that it's not good, but it is more more effective when a teacher is using it, when an adult is using it, than adult, children. Because we are trying to protect them exactly. from a lot of things that are actually going on online. That is why I use that statement. And also for video uploading, what actually happened is that uh, most people that are finding it very difficult to uh, download videos from Edmodo, it is because of their network network is a major problem edmodo won't allow you to send in um to send in um, what's it called um sending videos videos uh videos that are above 64 megabytes yeah 64 megabytes i've tried it so many times you can't send in videos of 74 megabytes so um they are only trying to download 74 megabytes below video and also teachers that are using Edmodo try to drop your video drop the video down before you do anything that means compress the video how do you compress video go and download a app called du recorder let me see whether let me use the opportunity to share my screen uh, i'm sharing my screen right now so just um, go over there and um, um go to your google.com and write there the the recorder for android 
so with du recorder you can actually do a lot so this is du recorder and uh, you can see uh, they stop sharing here it is this is just like zoom so they are trying they are doing a lot so just check anyone download this on your smartphone not on your laptop on your smartphone so when you download this on your smartphone you can use this app to actually compress your video so if you compress your video down this is a very big time advantage and you can use this to uh, bring down some of those high videos you are sending to parents okay yes so another thing you can also oh. do which is for oh. laptop i'm trying to look for the laptop own and um, it's called trying to look for the app the name of the app is called handbrake so with handbrake you can this is the the app the, it is a software so you can use this app to actually bring down a lot to to compress a lot of your videos and then this is also let me see whether i can bring it out uh, this is the app right here i have and break we have the app uh, the pen i pull beside it and then um, this is awesome to use i've been using it for some time it's just that okay. it will take a while for this app to to compress your video but it is effective so um, this is i think i've answered your two questions yes you have yeah, um, right. for Edmodo, Edmodo is not. You mentioned something. There's something you mentioned that um, something um, there's an element that is that works better for a for a, for a school. Um, I don't agree with that, and I also agree with that. Generally, for now, generally for now, parents like parents want an interactive an interactive element. WhatsApp is interactive. Yeah. Edmodo is interactive. Google Classroom is interactive. Edverse is interactive. Every platform we have out there, they are all interactive. But there is something that will make them interactive more better. It is not only by sending videos. It is not only by sending um, sending slide. It is not only by sending pictures. There are better ways. There are so many ways we can make our virtual class fun. And effective especially for young children children will enjoy this virtual class if you can do so many things to make it fun that means you have to look for different ways to send materials that they will enjoy seeing materials that by the time they are uh, they are looking at the materials they will enjoy what they are saying so try your best as possible get a detailed worksheet worksheet there are a lot of digital worksheets out there those worksheets can do a lot for you. So, um, worksheet is one of the ways you can bring in um, uniqueness into your class. And then I'm very sure that um, everybody is working on that also um, right away. So, uh, that is one of the one of the things I will just advise before I end my session. So, thank you very much, Miss Kemi. I really appreciate. If you have any question on YouTube, can you please drop? So that I will right, um, pleasure, try as much Mr. as possible. Yes, um, thank you very much, Mrs. Kemi, for joining us. Really appreciate it. Really and this is that was awesome. It was awesome. So, um, how do I stop my video? Uh, to stop my video, I was expecting a lot of people to join me when I was actually live. Um, this is what I would do. I will open it on Facebook. Um, so I just leave the meeting them from here right away. Um, let me give them excellent. This is nice. They have to be encouraged. There's something I just observed right now that um, it was not open. This meeting was not open to all. This meeting was not open to all. This is nice. So that means that we may not actually open. Um, we may not uh, we may not open a closed group to make this work 
So uh, let me show you how I achieve this. You may not open closed book to make this work. So I achieve this by just um, achieve this in a very simple way. Let me try. Let me do that again. Um, I click on the um, what is on your mind. I click on the three button. Then I create my room. Then I make it study break. So I think study break will not be out. Hang out, hang out will be out, will be out out there. Or let me try study break again and um, add um, fr um, friends. Okay, then next. So, so I want to send invitation to my friends again. For them to be able to join me okay uh, can i unfriend some of these i want to unsend some of these i don't want to send it send to those people again okay i think the reason is because i'm using it again let me use our data last room so this is the same setting and i go to save but i think this is going to start from the beginning again no it is not starting from the beginning okay let me just work with this now i want to see whether it is going to bring this public my phone is my uh, what's it called it's public let me just write hi and i post so i'm writing hi and i'm posting so it is just i that is showing right now the remaining are not showing this is what i want to achieve and i've achieved this with you this evening so this is awesome um this is nice and i would like you to, to give this a try with your students um not with your student force give it a try with everybody around you and then after that you cannot make it public you, you cannot make it um, um uh, make use of it with your students so thank you very much for joining me for this class i've actually spent almost the one hour i promised to spend with you today i've spent that and uh, today we have actually learned how to make use of um, the facebook room as lms i want to introduce you to our upcoming conference coming up very soon that is august the conference is coming up august and uh, because the conference is going to be awesome conference is going to be awesome i would like you to try as much as possible to uh, when you get the details take advantage of this conference uh, this is the virtual learning clinic where we explore a lot a lot and um, my name is odetola ebenza israel i want to appreciate everybody for joining me live for today's class it was awesome speaking with everybody Thank you, thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate. Thank you, thank you very much. And if you have question again, I'm going on Facebook right away. Uh, I'm going on Facebook, and then I'll be doing some other thing on Facebook also, uh, so that um, we'll be able to cover a lot of area. Um, picture is upside down. Yeah. So, thank you very much for joining me. Um, see you next week again on Facebook, on YouTube, live. At the same time, 6 p.m. every weekend. So thank you for your time. I really appreciate. Thank you. Bye.